Inside the Syracuse Art Museum is 30 cases of Haudenosaunee art created by Peter B. Jones. The art was created to reflect on the colonialism that indigenous people dealt with from European powers as well as the United States and Canada. Anna Juliana Borja Armas is one of five student curators who helped bring this project together. While undergrad students worked more on the exhibit itself, her role was on the education side. My role as being a doctoral student in the School of Education, I was kind of brought on board more to think about how to bring the exhibition to the broader community, specifically thinking about K-12. to So how do we bring this to different spaces within Syracuse City um, for younger students? Even though the varying levels of students had different responsibilities, working on the exhibit created a sense of pride to see indigenous art in the museum. It just makes me proud to see like indigenous artwork in the Syracuse Art Museum because we have a few pieces but it's not a lot and it's just nice to see. Understanding and reflecting on Haudenosaunee culture is more than just a history lesson. It's recognizing that people at the time felt the effects of colonialism and people today are still feeling those same effects here in the central New York region. While the pottery may be attractive to the naked eye, Jones has a clear message for his artwork. He wants it to be his people or about his people. Dr. Scott Manning Stevens shares with us his family's personal experiences and reminds us all that this was not something that occurred hundreds of years ago. They're not my ancestors, they're more like my grandparents, my mother. And so um, things ring true when I look at his art and think about the stories I've heard from them about their own past. There's a note of truth that is struck very clearly to me in his work and I see our families in, in his work. Despite the exhibit celebrating indigenous art, non-indigenous people can learn from it as well. Professor Sasha Scott says this exhibit is more than just art. There's a couple of really important things about this exhibition. Um, Peter Jones is a nationally and internationally known artist, so having his work here is a real honor. Uh, but Syracuse University sits on the unceded lands of the Onondaga Nation. Jones' exhibit provided a large amount of historical background, even for indigenous people, something that Borja Armas says makes things more memorable. To see it kind of manifest in this artistic way um, has been really amazing, and I'm really grateful for you know, the art history department and for Sasha and Scott and Peter to kind of provide that opportunity for us. The exhibit in the Syracuse Art Museum may be temporary, but the fight for respect from Haudenosaunee and other indigenous people is only going to continue. Reporting in Syracuse for NCC News, I'm Drew Vonsayo.